Well, hi guys, thank you for checking out another monthly update video for Baptist Youth. We're now into the month of December, which is really hard to believe. I don't know where this year has gone. Uh, the next update video you'll hear from us will be a new year, the year 2022, which is staggering. But thank you once again for checking out this uh, video. Uh, we hope it's helpful by way of updating you on what's happening in the youth department. And if you've been tuning into recent videos or if you've been keeping up to date through other ways um, with the youth department, you'll know that it's been a season of change in particular for the amazing journey. And right at the end of November, we uh, released really our application packs for the position of the amazing journey coordinator. And so if there's someone that you know, or maybe you yourself would like to apply for the position of the amazing journey coordinator, you can request an application pack by sending us an email at youth at the Baptist uh, applications will close on Friday the 17th of December and so if anyone wants to apply and return that application pack to us they need to do so before Friday the 17th of December and so this role the Amazing Journey Coordinator it's really a strategic and crucial role to the life and ministry of Baptist Youth and so we're looking for someone who is of godly character and also suitably gifted to the partic that particular position and so could I ask you to do a few things really uh, between now and the 17th of December if you're watching this before then uh, could you pray for the entire process pray that God would lead and guide everyone involved and secondly perhaps could you be not just in the business of praying but maybe identifying maybe you or someone that you know in your church you might perceive uh, would be a good fit for that role and you would perhaps want to encourage them to apply why don't you speak to your church leadership and encourage them to encourage that particular individual maybe to request an application pack and maybe apply for that position so that's the first thing to draw your attention to um is the amazing journey coordinator position but as we come up towards christmas i'm sure many of you are looking to read good christmas books and if that's you or maybe you want a christmas devotional to check out we've recently just made a video uh, looking at the top five Christmas books to check out this December. Now, I'll give a disclaimer now that I gave in that video as well, which is, although it's called the top five Christmas books, I'm not necessarily claiming that they are the top five Christmas books, nor do the books that I cover have I put them and ranked them in any particular order. But these are just five books that I think are really good and really worth checking out this Advent. Um, some of them are devotional books where you can read a little bit every day. Some of them are just more traditional books where they've got maybe six, seven, eight chapters and you can read them at your own pace. Regardless of what suits you, these are really good books worth checking out this Advent and they will warm your heart as we come up to the Christmas period and remind you of what Christmas is all about as we celebrate the Incarnation, uh, God coming to us in flesh in the person of Jesus Christ. So that's a, another video to check out. Um, also check out the videos that have started to be released on how to study the Bible. We alluded to these last month and they were kind of started to be drip fed last month on YouTube. A couple of them um, have been released already. Uh, there will be more being released over the coming days and weeks. So make sure you check that out. And uh, maybe you want to watch the whole series as in one sitting or maybe you want to drip feed it, which is probably more what you're going to do. Um, but make sure you check out that series of videos and maybe even point others in your church, particularly young people, students, to those videos as well. As we look to the new year, uh, January, we're going to be launching many things in January with regards to teams and camps. And uh, at the end of the month, we're going to be looking at uh, having a summer lunch night on Saturday, the 29th of January, um, COVID restrictions permitting. And uh, last month, I told you that the venue for that was going to be Dromore Baptist. We've subsequently changed the venue. Um, to Ballinahinch Baptist, um, reasons being slightly more capacity, which will enable us to hopefully host more people whilst um, maintaining social distancing and all that there. So um, note that change of venue. It's going to be in Ballinahinch Baptist building, not in Drummore Baptist, but that's going to be taking place on the 29th of January. Find out more about the, the teams that are available to you in the summer and also the camps that are available to you in the summer. And uh, Ben Davis from Coleraine once again will be coming to speak to us from God's Word um, centered on our theme for the summer, which you'll find out a little bit more about in the new year. Um, but on the topic of teams, um, something we're doing this year, or this year coming, um, which we haven't done before, is not just summer teams, we're actually going to do an Easter team. We're going to do a, an Easter team to Port Stewart Baptist Church. And so in the week leading up to Easter, um, you could join with a number of other young people to assist Port Stewart Baptist in a week of outreach. Um, that will entail a number of different things. You'll find out, we can find out more information about that at the start of January. And actually you can apply for that at the start of January. So stay tuned to find out a little bit more about that very exciting Easter team, um, which will be released um, in the new year. Uh, you do have to be 18 to go onto that team. So uh, if you're under 18, unfortunately, you're unable to apply for that team. But if you are 18 or above, then make sure you check out details about that released early in the new year. 
Uh, another event that's happening in February, uh, another couple of events that are happening in February. Again, just dates for your diary. Two weeks after our lunch night in Balna Hinch Baptist, we're gonna be back in Balna Hinch Baptist. So that'll be the 12th of February for another youth night. So again, this will be a good night to encourage your young people to meet other young people and uh, to sing, to hear God's word and to have some fun. So if you're in the kind of Balna Hinch area, maybe you're from Lisburn or Dremore, whatever the case might be, feel free to come along to that. Again, if you're further afield, Feel free to come along to that. You can travel as far as you want to get there. <laughs> we'll not turn you away. We'd love to have you. So mark that down in your diary, the 12th of February for another great night. Again, more details will be re released about that soon. And then two weeks after that, so keep those salaries. You've got one lunch night. Two salaries from that is the night in Battle Hinge. Two salaries from that, the 24th of February. Then we've got a special um, training morning for parents and youth leaders. Again, find out more information about how to sign up for that in the new year. But as we said last time, this is going to be a training information morning on uh, the topic of young people today. We're going to look at some of the unique challenges that they face and ask the question, how can we best understand, but ultimately disciple them in the unique challenges that they face um, as Christians. So that's one to be uh, well aware of. Finally, just with regards to some news in our churches, um, Henry Capper has been appointed as the new youth worker for Craig Avon Church. So uh, some of you might know Henry he went through the college. He's um, helped out at different churches. He's um, a member, formerly, of Portadown Baptist Church. So remember Henry in your prayers. He starts that new role and works alongside Paul Savage and the other uh, elders in Craig Avon in that particular position. That's all we've got for this month. Thank you once again for checking out this video. Thank you once again for your interest and your prayers for the work of Baptist Youth. I hope you have a great Christmas. I hope you have a refreshing time where you spend it with family and friends and ultimately remember um, the great thing that God has done in sending Jesus to our world, um, which would ultimately lead him to the cross. And uh, as you spend time, I pray that it'll be a good time, a refreshing time, and I can't wait to see you again early next year in January for more updates. Thank you.